International today. Your Case IH, Great Plains, Mahindra, and Pol Welcome back to uh, Hoisington, Kansas, as the Minneapolis Lions come away with a victory tonight by a score of uh, 57 to 32 here in the Cardinal Winter Jam as the boys advance to the championship game. And that will be determined later. Lacrosse, and I'm not sure who lacrosse plays. Um, Victoria. Victoria, thank you, uh, in the championship. But right now we're joined with Coach Schuf. And, Coach, congratulations on a nice victory. Um, you know, we um, Dale and I talked before you got up here. Really was determined really at the end of that first quarter, start of the second mm -hmm. quarter. And then when you got here, you and I talked about a little bit about the defense starting out that second quarter. Yeah. Well, you know, our man was kind of flat. And you have to get give Otis Bison some credit. The Patrick kid did a really good job against our pressure, which we thought he would. He's a pretty smooth ball handler. But uh, we switched into that 2-2-1 zone and tried to come at him from a little bit different way. And, and I thought our kids did a good job of, of being active in that and really creating some energy out of that and caused Otis Bison a lot of problems. Really did. We uh, didn't do a very good job of keeping turnovers tonight. But at one point in the second quarter, they had a five-second violation, mm -hmm. which I love to see. Mm -hmm. And then we had a 10 second violation, right. and that's even better uh, when you force a team to uh, have that pressure sure. coming across. It's really a nice uh, testament to the defense yeah. that they won a battle right there. Yeah, our, our kids did a good, it, again, it's the first time we've run it. Um, we've been working on it in practice. I think it's a good defense for us based on the personnel we put on the floor. It's not something we want to do all the time, but it's something I think we can do effectively, and we did that tonight. The other thing that I had uh, talked about coming into tonight was looking at it, and, uh, and I see this every game, is how deep can a team go? We know that we're going to go 10 very solid, maybe mm -hmm. even 11. Um, and we know that most teams usually go 7 or 8. They went 6. Right. And that, I think, right. also helped us right there sure. with the fact that we were throwing kids out constantly right. and just keeping intensity going. Right, yeah, I, I thought that really played into the second quarter where we just kept running kids through, and our kids did a really good job of just constantly attacking. The pace was where we wanted it, and I think it was where o Otis Bison was pretty uncomfortable. Um, and our kids are starting to understand that, and I think they all have confidence in each other. So we don't really miss a beat when we get kids in there that maybe – are sitting a little bit deeper down on the bench, but they still get meaningful minutes and they contribute in a meaningful way, which helps us out quite a bit. Yeah. Um, on, a, on an exciting note, 12 kids play, 12 kids score. Yeah, you know, that's great. That's, uh, that's exciting, especially for uh, Brandon Wolf was brought up for this tournament, uh, you know, especially right. for him. And uh, Lane Nichols uh, doesn't mm -hmm. do a lot of scoring. Lane had a couple plays in there that I'll go. We've talked about Lane's just uh, – uh, intensity and mm -hmm. the fact that he's uh, got a smile on his face and he's a bulldog right. down there. But there's a couple times that he came away with a rebound when there were guys that were much, much, much bigger than he was right. that came out. Yeah, came Lane, out the Lane's a fighter. And uh, I'll tell you, we uh, probably a year or two ago, we, well, it was last year, we kind of realized that whoever Lane guards in practice has an awful day. And it's still true. I mean, he frustrates our own kids constantly in practice because he's just all over him and he plays his tail off. and. You know, he just he does what he does in practice, and he brings it to the game floor every time too. So he, it, that's fun. That's fun. Uh, very balanced scoring tonight. Mm -hmm. um, one in double figures, uh, but overall balanced as far as the scoring attack goes. Uh, just overall a nice game tonight. Um, had our typical uh, fourth quarter free throw shooting woes at yeah. times, but you know that's uh, yeah. that's kind of that kind of is typical for us. I'm afraid. Yeah, it, it, it's I guess who we are. It uh, it is definitely a weakness of ours, and you, you hope it doesn't come back to bite us sometime later. We've got to, you know, we shoot them every day. We'll keep on shooting them, and you know I think we tell our kids we don't I, we don't spend a, a second of time talking about it. You know. Um, you either hit them or you don't. Yeah. So leave it to me to bring up the negatives. I'm well, no, hey, so, Dale. Uh, great game. A, a knockdown, drag out second quarter is what won the game. So, of course, we've already talked about that. But that's very impressive. The defensive pressure that totally frustrated them. They got very few good looks at the basket. Right. The entire second quarter and got ended up with two points total for the quarter. Right. That's great. Yeah, it's uh, it's something we got to keep working on and getting better at. There's still some some holes and some weaknesses in it, um, especially on the back side. But yeah, it's not because our kids aren't playing hard. They play hard, and and that's always if you got kids playing hard, you can get things corrected and get better, and we will. Absolutely. Absolutely.
Well, Coach, we appreciate you coming up. Thanks, guys. You've got a uh, girls game to watch, and good yeah. luck to the girls and your daughter. So thank you for coming up and Thanks. joining us. We appreciate, appreciate it. it. Congratulations. Good luck in the championship game. Thanks. Yeah, yeah. that's thank exciting you. to be back, isn't it? Uh, that's always fun. Yeah, you know, it's that's always fun to get one extra one in there. Should be a good environment. Yeah, it, it will be. To it. You know, and the other thing that you and I uh, that we talked about the last time on the air, mm -hmm. and I'm sorry to keep you again, no, that's but all right. this is really good for us to prepare for hopefully to be back here at right. State. And I don't think people realize how how much how nice that will be for us, mm -hmm. providing we can get through the first round and get here sure. for Substate because sure. it gives us more time on this court in a different venue uh, that we're kind of used to uh, used to playing at. Absolutely. You know, the more games we get here, the better, especially if it's in an environment like what, what it should be tomorrow night, which will be a high-energy environment, should be noisy. And we're the cross isn't to too far from here. The cross so they is should. not, and, and a lot of other fans will stick around to watch, so it'll be good. Yep, absolutely. The okay. boys will play tomorrow night at 8.15 versus either lacrosse or Victoria. Thanks, buddy. Thanks, folks. We'll be back in a few minutes. You're listening to Eagles Communications, Channel 20 and SalinaPost.com. Welcome, Minneapolis High School fans. Back to Hoysington, Kansas, to the second semifinal game of the evening that the Lady Lions are going to take on the host, Lady Hoysington Cardinals, here at the Cardinal Winter Jam. You know, and uh, looking at the uh, uh, looking at the uh, Hoysington, really, uh, they're a... Uh, they are the seven seed, mm -hmm. yeah, seven seed, and they, I think, handled Victoria very easily the other night. Yes, they came in uh, with a five and four record and won over Victoria by a score 60 to 46. Of, yeah, yeah, 60 to 46. So. And they're on their home floor, and they would like to go to the championship game very badly, I'm sure. Yep. So uh, it will be a tall task for the Lady Lions, who are coming in eight and two overall against the five and four Cardinals of Hoisington. They are seven seed. Minneapolis is the, the third seed. Uh, points wise for the year, uh, we are averaging 490 points. They're averaging 375, so we're outscoring them by 11 points a game. They're giving up 41 and an average. We're giving up 37, so they're giving up four more points than we do. So hopefully that will, between those two figures, work out to be an advantage for us tonight. This is the fifth game over the sixth game overall between the two squads. Uh, Boisington leads it three to two, though the Lions have won the last two games in a row here at the uh, Hoisington Winter Jam. Both those wins came in the finals against the Hoisington Cardinals in 2010 and 2011. Tonight we're playing to see if we can get back in the finals again. Yeah, the uh, Lady Lions <clears throat> trying to, like you said, trying to get back. Uh, the girls and the boys both won the championship in 2011. Neither team has been back here since. Boys have already punched the ticket. Now the girls have their opportunity as well as they come in to take on the host Boysington Cardinals. You know, and Dale, looking at this, um, once again, I get back to our girls. I think our girls have great potential. Uh, they did a very nice job the other night. Uh, they're going to have to come in and have the same intensity and play hard, tough, just like they did. Once they finally woke up in the first half there against Otis Bison, they, they played a good game. Yeah, take away the first quarter. Yeah. Uh, thought we were going to have the national anthem sung there or something, but I guess that was some other kind of presentation. So about a minute 13 away from, and I think we are going to have the national anthem. The band is here to get ready as uh, we'll wait and see if that is the case. Minneapolis, uh, that's no, that's interesting. Minneapolis in their traveling blue and Hoisington in their home white, and we're the higher seed. Is that because they're on the top side of the bracket? That wouldn't yes, matter. they're yeah, the is. top side of the, the bracket. top side of the bracket. Mm -hmm. so. mm -hmm. See, they, they were seven, and they beat out uh, the two number seed. two seed. Yep. yep. And Minneapolis is the number three seed. Yeah. So, so yep. Hoisington will be in their home white, Minneapolis in their travel blue here to get ready to take on Minneapolis Lady Lions and the Hoisington Lady Cardinals. So, so looks like they're going to have the national anthem. So. 
So we will go ahead and keep it here and listen to the national anthem. Minneapolis Lady Lions and the Hoisin and Cardinals getting ready to do battle. You're listening to SalinaPost.com as well as Eagle Communication Channel 20. Your voice, the Minneapolis Lady Lions. Welcome back. Nice job by the Hoisington High School uh, pep band as they uh, get the national anthem there. As we get ready to go here, Minneapolis and the Hoisington Cardinals getting ready to go. Starting lineups for both squads. For, uh, for Minneapolis, starting out number four. Uh, no, that's somebody else. Uh, number, uh, number four is Car uh, Carissa Schremer, a 5 foot 5 sophomore. And for Minneapolis, number four, Lucy Giles. Jordan Greer. For Hoisington, number 10, Jordan Greer, a 5'7 senior. And for Minneapolis, number 13, a 5'9 senior, J.C. Owens. For Minneapolis, Kennedy Allison. Kennedy, a 5'9 junior, number 15. And for Hoisington, number 12, Riley Kester, a 5'7 sophomore. For Minneapolis, number 22, 5'6 sophomore, Lindsey Shoup. And for Hoisington, number 14, Abby Dammel, a 5'7 junior. And for Minneapolis, number 24, a 5'5 senior, Mara Pounds. And for Hoisington, number 25, 5'8 senior, Presley Smith. As Minneapolis getting ready to do battle tonight here against the host Hoisington Cardinals here as both squads getting ready to go tonight here. Uh, Hoisington came away with an impressive victory against the number two seed Victoria Knights. Minneapolis will come in and try to take care of business here tonight. They got that first one under their belt, the tough one, against Otis Bison. And they will try to see what they can do tonight. So Minneapolis and Otis Bison getting ready to do battle here in just a second. I'm thinking that we are a quicker squad. We shall see if my perception is correct. If, if we are, I think that will bode well for us tonight. As we get ready to go here, we will have the tip into Riley Kester going against Lucy Giles as we get ready to go. Loud crowd tonight. Tip is up, and it will get in the hands of Hoisington as they control the tip. As they will set this up as Greer brings it across the timeline, get it over to Kester. Kester will quickly drive, picks up the shot, takes it, and off the mark, but rebounded by, by Minneapolis. Gets it out to shoot, shoot back the other direction to Kennedy Allison. Kennedy gets up the shot. She will go to the line to shoot to. 
Nice job by the Lady Lions. Oh, call on the floor. Call on the floor? Okay. So shoot the inbounds for Minneapolis. Uh, excuse me, Allison the inbounds for Minneapolis. As they get it to shoot, out to Owens. Owens in the corner and back to the top to shoot. Shoot back to Pounds to set this one up. A zone defense by Hoisington as they push it out a little bit. Shoot looks at a three, goes back to Owens. Owens <coughs> picks up her dribble, gets back to Pounds. Pounds will take the three. It's good. Nice job, Mara Pounds. Great shot, great look, great finish as she hits the three to take the early lead. Minneapolis puts, picks up some pressure here. Kester with the ball. They get it across the timeline to Greer, and Greer nearly loses it, but they pull it back out to Kester. Kester, they take the shot, and a miss, but picked up by Giles. Giles back the other direction to shoot. Shoot crosses the timeline, gets it quickly over to Pounds. Pounds down low to, to Giles, tr in trouble down there, gets it back out. Goes to shoot for three, and it's no good. Rebounded by, oh, it's tied up. Nice job right there as J.C. Owens goes down the floor and gets the tie up. It will stay with Minneapolis. Allison to pull the trigger for Minneapolis. They get it to Owens at the free throw line. She's going to wrap. Yep. On the ball. On the ball, just uh, carried. Carried it just as it. she went to the left side. Turnover gets it back to Hoisington. Sable bring it down, gets it to Greer to bring this down for the Cardinals. Greer crosses the timeline, gets it over to Schremer. Schremer, a sophomore, gets it back over to Greer. Greer, senior, gets it back down to uh, Kester. Kester is a sophomore as well as... They drive the paint, no good, but get the offensive rebound, and they put back, and there's going to be a foul on Kennedy Allison. So Kennedy Allison picks up her first personal foul, first team foul. At the line will be Abby Demmel. First shot is up and good for Poisonton and Demmel. Minneapolis checks in, Grace Peters as well as Cindy Weedle checks in for Allison and, no excuse, so, hmm, Mar Pounds and J.C. Owens. Second one is up and no good. That should have been, that should have been, yeah. I was going to say that didn't even touch the rim. It should be Minneapolis ball on the baseline. And it is. Shoot with the ball and she will bring it down to set it up. Crosses the timeline. Picked up, gets it back to Allison. Allison gets it down low off the hands of, of uh, Greer for Hoisington. It'll be Minneapolis basketball. Weedle to pull the trigger with the three to one lead. Gets it to Shoop. Shoop on the outside back to Grace Peters. Grace picks up her dribble, gets it back to Shoop as they have in trouble down there. Gets it down low to Allison and she's going to get fouled. Nice job, Kennedy Allison. As she will go to the line. Oh, they called a travel? <laughs> wow. I didn't see that one. Three to one, Minneapolis, 5.55 to go in the first quarter. That's interesting, Dale. Yep. Gets it back the other direction, goes in the hands of Schremer. Schremer, as she crosses the timeline, picked up by Giles. They double team her at the top. They get it down, stolen away. Gets it up to Giles, stolen by Allison, back the other direction. And there's... It will stay with Minneapolis as we had a nice fast break going there. Just couldn't hold on to finish it. Minneapolis to inbounds. Weedle to pull the trigger. Gets it into Giles. Giles back to Allison. Allison back to shoot. Have really not had a good look on the inside yet. Their zone has been a little bit of a problem for us. Shoot in the paint. Up and no good. Gets her own rebound. Gets it back out to Grace Peters. They set it back out to shoot for three. No good, and pulled back out into the hands, and it will be turned over back to Minneapolis. Nice job by the defense. Minneapolis just has not been able to find a way to get it into the into the low block and at least be able to make it. Boysington's going to call a timeout to talk about this as they turn the ball over. Minneapolis ball until we come back. You're listening to SolanaPost.com as well as Eagle Communication Channel 20, your voice in the lines. Minneapolis with the lead, 3-1. to one. 
choose your beautiful new countertop, granite or quartz, from the large selection of slabs of granite and quartz in stock in the Creative Surfaces showroom. Your new countertop is cut from the actual slab of granite and quartz you select. Creative Surfaces is a proud supporter of Minneapolis Lions. See the guys at AutoTech for all your automotive repair needs. Quality automotive care from alignments to transmissions and everything in between. Proud supporters of the Minneapolis Lions. Here we go. Lions with the ball. Shoot with the ball as she uh, pulls it back to Weedle. Weedle back to Allison. Allison drives the paint. Nice job. Off the glass. No good. And uh, Otis, excuse me, Hoisin comes out the rebound. Hoisin back the other direction and and foul by Shoop, and they will go to the line to shoot two. Shoop with the block, but it's called for the foul. At the line will be Abby Demel. She was at the line earlier. She'll go back for another two. 4.56 left to go here. First shot is up and good by Demel. Three to two, Minneapolis still with the, with the lead. Second shot is up, and it's good as well as they tie it up at three here, back the other direction. Minneapolis with the ball as they cross the timeline. Minneapolis getting ready to send some more subs in. They go back to shoot, shoot back to Weedle, and we turn the ball over. Great, great Peters. Great hustle that there. Excellent speed got in front of the ball, blocked it away from the shooter. Mara Pound, Shea Allison, and... J.C. Owens check in for Weedle, uh, Shoop, as well as Giles. Shot up and no good, and that should be over the back by number 42 as she checks in for, Pata checks in for Hoisington, and she gets the foul. Three all with 435 remaining in the first quarter. Mar Pounds brings it down, gets it over to Allison. Allison. Back in the corner to Peters, back to Pounds. Pounds to set this one up. As 2-3 zone, I bet they spread the zone out a little bit, Dale. Grace Peters drives, back to Pounds, back in the corner to Allison. Allison's had the screen set, gets it back over to Owens, off the mark. And that's going to be off of Minneapolis. It'll be Boysington basketball. And we have not been able to figure out a way to get the ball inside, their defense, their zone has been pesky right as of sort to start. Three to three, 405 left to go in the first. Ball goes back in the corner to Demel. Demel gets it down low and stolen away by Kennedy Allison. Kennedy comes back the other direction. Kennedy needs to just take it right into him. Kennedy's got the speed and the talent, needs to go inside. Goes back on the outside to Pounds. Pounds looks down low. Get it down there and post up. If they don't, they pull it back out. Back to Allison. Allison down low to Shea, but the, they had her sealed, but just out of her hands. Turnover back the other direction. Ball goes back on the outside. Shot up, and it's off the mark. Rebounded uh, by the Cardinals and picked up by Minneapolis after the missed shot. Grace Peterton, Peters comes back the other direction. Gets it back to the top of the key to Allison. Backward to Pounds. Pounds has the screen set, gets it over to Kennedy Allison up and she can't get it. And another rebound by Hoisington. We can't make a shot and they can't, uh, they're getting some big rebounds. Back the other direction, gets it in. Three point shot up and good by Hoisington as Jordan Greer hits a big three and Minneapolis is gonna call a timeout. They've so. scored a six zero here. If we went up with the three-point lead, 2.53 remaining in the first. We'll be back after this word. You're listening to SalinaPost.com as well as Eagle Communication Channel 20. Visit Straub International today. Your Case IH, Great Plains, Mahindra, and Polaris dealer with seven locations. Straub International, helping Kansas grow. For over 100 years, Robertson Monuments has created everlasting memories for families to share the lives of their loved ones with future generations. Supporting the Lions all the way, Robertson Monuments. See American Family Insurance agent Scott Osherman for all of your insurance coverage under one roof. The Scott Osherman Agency in Minneapolis proudly supporting the Lions. Welcome back as Lady Lions get rolling again, trailing 6-3. to three. 
Ball goes out to the outside to Grace Peters, back to Kennedy Allison, back to, uh, to Shoup. Shoup picks up a dribble, back to Jade Lot, back to Grace Peters as they set this one up. They look down low, they have nothing. Kennedy Allison gets it back to Giles. Giles, nice job, Giles to drive it, can't get it. Gets her own rebound, nope. Had a rebound and uh, Poison and out. bails Poison. her out. Poison and Coach bails him out. I was just told um, um, Kate Steinbrock is not here and is, uh, she's sick. So we are minus Kate Steinbrock tonight. So, so as as uh, we will be one shooter short. So, so we'll be back. Whether you're building a new house or a birdhouse, Ottawa County Lumber and Supply will have the tools and materials you need for your next project. Ottawa County Lumber cheering for the Lions. Tonight's game brought to you by City Pharmacy in Minneapolis. Now delivering to our neighboring communities. Call us to find out when we can come to you. City Pharmacy for your family. Go Lions! Stop into Jeans IGA and experience shopping with a promise of neighborly service from people you know and trust. Jeans IGA, your hometown grocery store, supporting your hometown Lions. Welcome back to Hoistenden, Kansas. Dale Leach, Jay Macy, myself, Scott Osherman, as Jay's keeping the books for us tonight. As Minneapolis trailing 6-3 to three here in the first quarter, Hoistenden uh, has the ball. Minneapolis picks up a press. Washington inbounds as they quickly get it in. Comes back the other direction into the hands of um, Marissa Jones checks in for the first time. Comes back and they break the press nicely. And up and good is Greer as she picks her perfect. Yep, they break the press nice and they finish nicely. Back the other direction. Jade Lott back to the top to shoot. Shoot. Back out to Grace Peters. Grace shot up and she can't get it to fall. And it's picked up back the other direction. They double team at the top and come back with the ball in the hands of Greer. Jay told me that Greer has started since she's a freshman. Three-point shot on the outside by Hoisington off the mark, but they get their own rebound as Minneapolis was boxed in tight down there. Hoisington basketball. Uh, near five second call, no, nothing there. She pulls it back out, Hoisington does, gets it back to Greer. Greer will set this one up, eight to three, Hoisington with the lead. Back on the outside, goes into the hands of Schremer. Schremer with a backdoor pass and blocked by Lott. Nice job, Jader Lott with a nice block right there, back the other direction. Thought she was back in the corner, goes to Kennedy Allison. Kennedy up and off the glass and good. Nice job, Kennedy Allison finally, as we get a bucket driving down to the low block. Minneapolis picks up the press. Allison, Kennedy Allison. Back to goes the other direction into the hands of Kester. Kester throws it away, back to shoot. Minneapolis pulls it back out. Ah, and we turn the ball over. How many times, Dale, have we done that this year? We get the turnover, we turn it right back over. Too many to count. And Minneapolis is gonna get a couple new players in as Owens, Weedle, and Pounds check in. It's a good idea to pull it back and throw it to someone else, but no one else was coming, unfortunately. 45 seconds remaining is eight to five, Hoisington. Hoisington gets the, gets the ball on the outside to Schremer, back to Greer. Greer, and there's gonna be a whistle right there on Owens. The Hoisington basketball, JC's first foul. Kester to inbounds the ball for Hoisington. They get it into Greer with 34 seconds left. Eight to five, Minneapolis trails. The ball goes back over in the corner to Kester. Kester back to top to Schremer. Schremer back to Greer. Greer's the one you really need to watch. Ooh, wow. Nice crossover and the bucket. Wow, she's a smooth ball player as she gets that one to fall with 16 seconds left. Ball goes back to shoot, back to Weedle in the corner with a 10 seconds, back to Mara Pounds. Pounds drives in, no! A double dribble called on Mara, and we turn the ball over. 6.8 seconds left at 10 to five. They're packing it in with their zone and really doing a number on us. Daring us to shoot it from the outside, we won't take the dare. 
Now it comes back into the hands of. And she's going to get a shot off, and she does. Wow. Almost goes in. So at the end of the first quarter, Minneapolis trails by a score of 10 to 5. We will take a break, and you're here word from our sponsors. You're listening to Minneapolis High School Basketball here on SalinaPost.com, as well as Eagle Communication Channel 20. Your voice in Minneapolis Lions. We'll be back after this work. in marketing your agricultural products. Call and find out how Schooler can help you manage risk and maximize rewards. And go Lions! Your headquarters for trailers including stock trailers, fifth wheel, flatbed, dump trailers, and tilt trailers. Also pick up beds, flatbeds, bale beds installed and serviced. Plus they will go outside the box to customize exactly what you need. Joe's Fabricating, Hillsboro, proudly supports Minneapolis Lions. Second quarter action ready to resume. The Lions trailing the host Hoysick and Lady Cardinals 10 to 5 as we get ready for second quarter to start. Minneapolis. Possession arrow to the Cardinals. Minneapolis uh, really struggling right there in the first quarter, Dale, with the zone. Um, uh, like you said, Dale, daring us to shoot from the outside, but we won't. Uh, Hoysington has really been effectively been able to shut us down. Hoisting it with the ball on the outside. They get it into the hands of Demel. Demel back in the corner as they get a new player in. Or Smith checks back in, excuse me. And they get it down low to Greer, and Greer pulls it back out. Greer back on the outside. So they move the ball around. Minneapolis in the zone as well. So they spread it around. Hoisington just looking for that shot. They get it down low, and great hands by Owens, and it's tied up. As Owens and Pounds go on the floor with Greer, Minneapolis has the basketball after the possession arrow goes to Minneapolis. Kennedy Allison gets it in to Mara Pounds. 10 to 5. Cindy Weedle down low to, to Giles in the paint, up and off the glass, can't get it. And Owens with the rebound, and she's fouled, and she will go in the line. But right now, when we do get a look down low, we've not been able to get anything to fall. Minneapolis will be at the line to shoot two. Foul is on number 25, Smith for Poison. They really capsize on us, and they get, do get it in low. Nice job by Owens as she hits the free throw right there. 10 to 6. J.C. Owens, second one coming here. Shot is up and can't get that one to fall. Picked up by Greer. Greer brings it down across the timeline, gets it over to Smith, back to at the top to Kester, Kester back to Greer. So they set this one up. Greer on the outside, gets it back to the top to Schremer. Schremer back to Kester as they move it around Minneapolis. Rotates around a little bit here. So they move it around. Greer with the deep three off the mark. That's the Minneapolis basketball. Up and over the backboard. That's one you can't leave open. Cindy Weedle will check out as Lindsay Shoup checks back in. Minneapolis will bring it down. The trail 10 to 6, 6.43 to go, second quarter. Mar Pounds with the ball. And she swings the pass over to Shoup into Giles. Giles back out to Shoup in the corner to Allison. Allison looks for the high post, has nothing, pulls it back out. Minneapolis to work this one. Swing pass back over to Shoup. Shoop down low to Allison, up and good. Nice pass by Shoop to Allison, and Allison finishes nicely. Kennedy with a nice play underneath the basket. She's got great range from down low. Nice shot by Kennedy Allison. Minneapolis trailing 10 to 8 as they're trying to get back into this one here. Ball back in the hands of Greer. 6.02 left to go here in the second quarter. Picks up a dribble down low. Nice pass, and the partially blocked and then pulled down by, by Pounds. Pounds back the other direction to shoot. Shoot back to Pounds. Pounds into Owens, down low in the paint, up and good. Nice job, J.C. Owens. Great pass, great finish as we tie it back up at 10. We go on a 5-0 run. Back the other direction goes Greer with the ball as she gets it back in the hands of Kester. Kester back to Schremer, back to Greer. Greer. 
She drives down, up and off the glass, no good. And, and that'll be out of bounds off of White, Minneapolis basketball. As uh, Jay wasn't joking when he said Greer was a pretty smooth ball player. She's got a nice, nice little dribble penetration. Luckily, she missed the bucket. So Minneapolis basketball after the turnover. Shoot to bring it down. 5-16 left to go in the half. Lions and the Cardinals tied at 10. In the corner goes to Kennedy Allison. Kennedy up and oh good. And there's going to be a foul on Lucy Giles with the push. That'll be the fourth team foul. Giles first, I believe. That is correct. And we'll get the ball in. They come back the other direction. Uh, go cross court to Demel. Demel picks up her dribble. And nice hands. Oh, Kennedy Allison kind of forceful there trying to get to the ball. Picks up the quick foul. Fifth team foul. And Kennedy will have a seat with two fouls. Weedle in for Allison. Ball goes in on the inbounds. Back goes to Schremer. Schremer guarded by Shoup. They get it over to, that's a walk in the paint, no call, rebounded by Grace Peters. Grace comes back the other direction to Shoup. Shoup pulls it back out, gets it over to Owens, or excuse me, uh, Giles. Giles, and she misses it. Out. Comes back to the direction. Tied up at 10 still, in the hands of Greer. Greer picked up by Grace Peters. Grace had a great defensive night the other night on a very solid player for Otis Bison. And they, nice job with the steal right there is Shoup. Shoup will come back the other direction off the glass and can't get it to fall either, but picked up by Grace Peters. How many bunnies have we missed, Dale? Too, Too many. many. Into uh, to Giles. Giles misses, but with the putback is... Shea Allison, she missed. She can't get it, and rebounded by Greer. Back the other direction. Wow. 3.51 left to go here in the half. Tied up at 10 here. Ball goes back in the corner to Demel. Demel pulls back around the top of the key, back to Schremer. Schremer back to Greer. Greer on the left-hand side, guarded by Grace Peters. Oh, wide open and fouled by Shea Allison as Demel will go back to the line. She's been at the line four times tonight. She's three of four from the free throw line. Pretty solid free throw shooter, and you can tell that she works hard down there, and she will go, the junior will go back to the line as Shea Allison picks up her first foul. First shot is good. They take the lead again, 11 to 10. Their first point of the quarter, Owens and Weedle check in for Giles and Shoup. Second one is up and misses that one, rebounded by Owens, back out the pounds. 11 to 10, as you said, Dale. Ball goes back to Cindy Weedle. Weedle will take the shot, off. it's off the mark. That'll be rebounded by Grace Peters. Grace with the backside rebound, back up the top to Pounds to set it up. It's back to Grace Peters. Grace, high screen set by Shea Allison. Back over to Weedle. Back to Pounds. Pounds with the pass to Owens. Shot up, and she can't get it. Take that extra step in, JC. Minneapolis with the missed shot right there. Ball goes back in the outside to Kester. Kester back to Schremmel. Back to Greer. Kester on the outside. She will drive. Shot up and good in the face of Owens, and she puts it in 13 to 10. 2.40 left to go in the first half. Lions trail back to Cindy Weedle. Weedle back to Peters, back on the outside to Pounds. Pounds down low to Owens, back to Pounds, back to Weedle on the outside. Ah, gosh darn it. Second time we've tried that, and we've not been able to get it to work as we have it sealed, but just a little bit too hard of a pass. The turnover goes back the other direction. 2.14 left to go in the first half. Back in the hands of Kester. Kester guarded by Weedle. Back to Demel. Demel swing pass over to Schremer. As they go back to the top, gets it in the hands of Pata. Pata 
Back to Greer, and Greer off the glass, and it's good. We work back in it, five unscored points to unanswered points to tie it. Now they're up by five again. Weedle on the outside, in the corner. It's it to Mara Pounds. Mara will drive. Minute 37 left, Minneapolis work the ball a little bit. They go down low to Owens. Owens in the paint. Once again, too hard and can't get it to fall. And another missed shot in the paint. Ball picked up and then passed off the demo back to Greer. Minute 17, Lions trail by five. They go back on the outside. So they work the ball around here. And nice steal by Owens back the other direction. J.C. Owens wisely backs it away. Great job by Owens with the steal right there. Pounds back to Weedle. Just under a minute left. She picks up her dribble, gets it back. The Grace Peters back to Pounds. Pounds down low to Allison. And she's going to pivot foot, they said. She tried to get position. Lot and uh, Giles and Shoup come in. Leaving Peters and Pounds on the floor. Poison 10 bounds. They get it to Greer. Greer gets it back to Shremel. Shremel will bring it down across the timeline. They get it down low to Demel. Demel picked up by Lott. Back to Greer. Greer with the ball on the outside. Back to Shremel. 35 seconds left as they will work the ball. And tight defense right there, a nice job by, and then picked up by Grace Peters. Great steal by Grace, up to Mara Pounds. 25 seconds left. Mara on the outside to Lott. Nope, it's off the mark. A rebounded by Grace Peters. Grace back to Pounds, back to Shoot. 19 seconds, back to 15. Swing pass back over to Grace Peters. Back to down low, There's six seconds left. Giles in the paint, up and yes, nice job. Lucy Giles gets it to fall. We needed that one, Dale. Would have been nice if we'd gotten a foul with it, but uh, they're not calling them right now. 15 to 12, Minneapolis gets back to within three. We were tied at one point, though. Minneapolis trails by three at the half. Low scoring ball game here in Hoisington. Minneapolis trails by three. We'll be back after this word. You're listening to SlinaPost.com as well as Eagle Communications Channel 20. We'll be back after this word. Welcome back to Hoisington, Kansas. Cardinal Winter Jam here in the semifinal, Minneapolis and Hoisington, the host team, trying to make it to the championship game as uh, the winner to advance to play Ellenwood tomorrow night. Scoring wise for the Hoisington Cardinals, uh, Riley Kester with two points, Abby Demmel with four points, and Jordan Greer with nine. Uh, she's definitely one you gotta watch as she's had a big night so far, nine points. For Minneapolis, uh, Lucy Giles with two, J.C. Owens with three, Kennedy Allison with four, and Mara Pounds with three. Um, really only one player in have any issues with fouls, and that's Kennedy Allison with two as Minneapolis trails at the half, 15 to 12. I'll tell you though, Dale, looking at this, uh, their zone defense really putting, giving us some fits right now. We've not been able to find an answer uh, down low, uh, not being able to hit some shots when we do get the ball down low. Some of them bunnies that we've had some luxury of making haven't been able to fall so far tonight. We're only down by three, definitely, definitely still in this, but you're gonna have to come back with the third quarter and have a, a stellar ball game in the third quarter. And one of the things that uh, didn't help either was uh, Kennedy Allison going out with two fouls there late in the first or early in the second quarter. And, uh, she's one of our better drivers there in the low post. Uh, so we'll have her back in the third quarter and see if uh, her presence there can not only make up some difference on offense, but she's a great defender, uh, causes problems, gets steals, helps others pick up steals, and hopefully she'll help be a catalyst to get things turned around. Quite frankly, the way things were going there uh, late in the first and late in the second, I think we're fortunate to be down by only three, 15 to 12 here with uh, the second half getting ready to start. Yeah, you're exactly right, Dale. Uh, very fortunate just to be down by that amount. Uh, but the girls are going to have to come out here and fight 
and figure out a battle strategy to get back into this to come away uh, with the uh, victory to advance to the championship game. Um, Poisonton, of course, the home team wanting to advance um, and both squads um, trying to make it to the championship game as the Lions trail at the half, 15 to 12. Um, I, I think you're right about Kennedy Allison. Kennedy brings uh, so much. Uh, she brings a lot of energy to the floor, but also she's got that dribble drive and the little shot. Uh, but on the flip side, um, Owens and Giles just have not, they've kind of struggled tonight uh, in that low block, and I think it's because of the zone. Yeah. They're just packing it in, and we're not, and when they do get a shot off, it's not a clean look. Exactly. So exactly. Th to their defense, it is definitely not a clean look. Their defense is very strong, and they're showing it right here. And we've not been able to hit from the outside, and because of that, we've been reluctant to take further shots from the outside, and, and uh, that's making us work it inside where we're going right into the teeth of their uh, very good defense. So see if we can't get some of that corrected as we get ready to start the second half. So Minneapolis uh, right now trails at the half, 15 to 12. We're about three minutes away from the start of the second half. We'll take another quick break and hear a word from our sponsors. We'll be back in about two minutes. If you're listening to SalinaPost.com as well as Eagle Communication Channel 20. We'll be back after this one. Welcome back to Hoisington, Kansas. Cardinal Winter Jam here in the semifinals as the Minneapolis Lions and the host, Hoisington Cardinals, doing battle here. Hoisington with the lead at the half, 15 to 12. And, uh, Dale, what have the girls got to do here in the second half? Uh, we got to figure out how to score some points, 12 points. Very low scoring. Of course, they aren't much better with 15 themselves, Hoisington Cardinals. But we've just got to get some confidence and be able to figure out how to get the ball movement and get the shots to go in. We've... Uh, been very tentative in attacking this zone. Cardinals have the ball with the possession error to start the second half. Yeah, as we get ready to go here, Minneapolis and Hoisin to start the second half here. Same starters, it looks like. And Hoisin then gets it into Greer. Greer's definitely their point leader and their playmaker with nine. And as she has the ball, Minneapolis in the zone. They kick him back on the outside to Demel. Demel back to Greer. And, you know, I think Hoisin is probably going to want to slow this one down and keep the score low. Yes. Um, to, their that's advantage. to their advantage. Ball to Schremmel. Schremmel back in the corner to Kester. Kester. And that's going to be off, off of Minneapolis. It'll be Hoisin in basketball. Good trap defense right there. Got him in the corner and trapped him, but didn't let it slip away. Ball gets him back in the top of the key to Schremmel. Schremmel back to Greer. Greer on the outside corner and stolen away by Mara Pounds. Nice job, Mara Pounds, as she brings the ball down off the glass and good. Nice job, Mara, to take it right at him. Puts it in 15 to 14. Nice turnover and a nice transition bucket by Mara Pounds. Greer with the ball on the outside. They get it back to Schremmel. Schremmel back to Greer. Greer back on the outside, gets it to Kester. Kester double team and gets it back in the corner to uh, Smith. Smith back to Greer. Greer swing pass back over the outside to Schremmel. Schremmel back to Kester as they move the ball. Another trap defense. Shot up and no good and rebounded by Kennedy Allison. Kennedy with the rebound and she'll bring it down. Kennedy crosses the timeline. Gets it to Owens at the top of the key. JC looks for a cutter, has nothing, goes back to shoot to set it up. Got a little nervous there. Back to the top of the key. Swing pass backward to shoot. Shoot looks down low, gets it down low to Giles. Giles in the paint, no call, and rebounded by Mara Pounds. Great job by Mara uh, to dribble out of that, but they do go down the floor and tie her up. It'll stay with Minneapolis. 15 to 14, Minneapolis basketball with the inbounds. 6-12 left to go in the third quarter. Allison to inbounds, gets it to Shoup. Shoup will take the three, no good, but Kennedy Allison with a nice rebound. Nice job, oh, and loses she loses it. it. Tie up, we'll go. No, oh. no, we come away with a nice job. Nice pass down low to Owens in the paint. No good, oh my goodness. Another missed opportunity underneath and it comes back the other direction and pass all the way down, and they get the finish. 
Wow, Demel with the bucket as they go coast to coast and can finish. And we just cannot get that bucket down low. Swing pass back to Allison. In the paint, up, and it's good. Nice job, Kennedy Allison. Count it and put it in as she will go to the line with the M1 to try to tie this thing. Kennedy with a nice bucket right there. That's that dribble penetration you talked about, Dale. Sydney Weedle and Grace Peters come in for Pounds and uh, Owens. 5.35 remaining in the second. It's third quarter, excuse me. It's 17-16 poison. Kennedy's second, uh, first shot is up and no good as misses the and one. Greer with the basketball, guarded by Weedle. Crosses the timeline, crossover dribble, drives right in and pass down low. And she walks with it. How's that not a walk? Wow. Tie up goes to the Cardinals. That's, she was all over that floor, Dale. Inbounds. Demo with the inbounds, gets it to Greer. Greer with the ball at the top. She backs it away, guarded by Allison. Greer with the dribble at the top. Drives in. There's a walk. Thank you very much. I was going to say, they don't call that. <laughs> We've had that called on us. I don't know how many times on Eric Yoxel. <laughs> they better call it on her. So, uh, Shoot with the ball and bring it down at the top of the key. Lay lines trail by one. Back to Kennedy Allison. Backdoor pass. Back to shoot. Shot up. And it's no good. And, and a foul. Shoop, I think. Yep. Foul. First team, second team foul. Or is that the first? Second foul on Shoop. Checking in will be number 22, Marissa Jones. First team foul. Still 17-16. Hoys again with 4.50 to go in the third quarter. Ball goes into the hands of Kester. Kester gets it to Greer. Wow, they... And they quickly get it down the floor. So Minneapolis is going to pick up another foul here. Grace Peters whistled with the foul. Her first. I'll tell you, that Greer can fly down the floor. Second team foul. And another foul. Peters. This one's going to be on Grace as well as she'll go to the line to shoot two. Yep, Grace Peters picks up her second personal. Mara Pound's getting ready to check in as well as J.C. Owens. Free throw is off the mark and no good. J.O. checking in as well as Mara checks in for Weedle and Giles. Another shot coming here. 4.43 left to go in the third quarter, up and good. Back up by two is Hoisington. Mar Pounds will bring it down for the Lady Lions. Gets it back to Allison. Allison looks down low. Gets it back to Shoop. Shoop down to Allison off the mark. Gets her own rebound. And take it away be, from her, but yeah. she's fouled. No, they call her with the foul. Uh, they call Kester with the foul. Yeah. As, yeah. So the uh, Hoisington crowd didn't like this, but uh, first personal foul. Second ball goes in to shoot. Shoot on the outside. Ball goes back on the outside to Mara Pounds. Got to figure out a way to score a bucket here. Gets a ball on it. Grace Peters into Owens. Owens back to Pounds. She'll take the three. And Kennedy Allison with the shot. Nice job. Kennedy Allison, great rebound and a great putback. Ties it at 18. Nice job, Lady Lions. Ball comes back the other direction in the hands of Schremer. Schremer back to Kester. Kester uh, drives in the paint up, and it's good. Kester will go to the line for the end one, and she makes that one. We'll see who the foul's on. And checking in for Poisonton is Kennedy Kid. Allison, her third. And Bisa Bawala. Checks in for 
the Cardinals, and they get the and one. So up by three now, Minneapolis with the basketball. Kennedy has been the most effective so far tonight, and she's got three fouls now. Kennedy, they look at her down low. Shoot drives in, nice job, can't get the fall, and ah, fourth foul right there, whistled on Kennedy Allison. Dang it. Missed opportunity once again down low. Kennedy's fourth foul, and she'll sit down. Back the other direction, we'll go into the hands of Shremel. Lady Lions trail by three, 21 to 18, 3.30 left to go in the third quarter. Shremel back to Kester, Kester in the corner to Greer. Greer drives back to the top of the key. Greer back to Shremel, Shremel back to Kester. They're just gonna play a little. Uh, oh, come on, ladies. Wow. Nice backdoor rebound and put back. Walla gets the backside rebound and the putback. Uh, now Lady Lions back down by five, 23 to 18. Shoot to Giles. Giles back to shoot. Down low to Owens. And no tie up. They come out of there with it yep. on the run. There's the charge. There you go. Thank you. Nice job, Mara Pounds. Mara with the takes the charge. Nice job by Pounds. We have a full timeout by Hoisington. Yes. Yep, Hoisington calls the timeout. So 23 to 18, Lady Lions trail by five again. Uh, here at 2.40 left to go in the third quarter. We'll take a break. You're listening to SlinaPost.com as well as Eagle Communication Channel 20, your voice to Minneapolis Lady Lions. We'll be back after this word. Ottawa County Bank in Minneapolis offers hometown banking with commitment, experience, and quality service. Proud sponsors of area school activities. B&K Prescription Shop has been serving the Salina area, including Central Kansas and North Central Kansas, since 1953. Providing patients of all ages the prescriptions that they need to feel better. B&K Prescription Shop. Eagle Communications, home of ECTV, high-speed internet, 910-KINA and 99-KG Country is a proud sponsor of tonight's hometown coverage of Lions Sports. Listen to the Lions Sports on SalinaPost.com. Welcome back. Uh, a gentleman from here from Hoisington we always see sitting in the same place every year. Um, his granddaughter's on this team, Dale. Oh. Um, she hasn't been in yet, but she's on this team. And number 23 for them, so... Anyway, I wanted to get that name from him. So Minneapolis with the basketball here, 23 to 18. Back in the hands of Giles. Giles nearly loses it, goes back door to, and that's going to be a foul on Hoisington as whistle with the foul is Schremer. Second personal foul, fourth team foul. Now the inbounds, they get it to shoot. Shoot back to Pounds, back out to Weedle. Down low. Dang it. And another turnover. And try to get the try ball to get it down, down the low. Post. Twenty-three to eighteen, Hoisington with the ball and the lead. Two twenty left to go here in the third quarter. Minneapolis is going to have to find a way to start finding some offense here because Hoisington having their way right now. Yeah. Career with the ball on the outside. She'll take the three. Off the mark, rebounded by Owens, back out to Weedle. Weedle at the pounds, pounds, back to Owens from the free throw line, back to Shoup, she'll take the three, good job. Nice job, Lindsay Shoup, as she hits a three right there. That will help our confidence from the outside, Dale, we've got to have those right now. 23-21, Hoisington. Huh? They've got the ball and on the attack. So, Ball comes back to Greer. Greer with it and gets it back to Kester, back to Schremel. Schremel back to Greer as she pulls around to the outside. Gets it back to the top to Kester. Kester back to Schremel. Minute 20 left as they just run some clock here. Back to Greer. Greer 
Guarded by Pounds, back to the outside. Minneapolis still in a, a matchup zone. Kester with the ball, she'll drive and stolen away by Minneapolis. Gets it back to Owens, back to shoot. Nice job by Minneapolis, 54 seconds left. They get it down low to Giles. Giles in the paint, no good. And how is there not a... They come, Greer comes away with the rebound. Not a real good shot. She hurried it too much. And a steal right there. Nice job by Owens with a great steal. Back the other direction. 37 seconds. Lady Lions have a chance here to try to tie it. We'll Shoot go a ahead. deep three. Off the mark. Can't get it. And rebounded by Greer. They had a nice look at it. A little bit deeper. Greer with the ball. Greer takes the shot in the lane, no good. And Mara Pounds has got it with 13 seconds going the other direction. And she's going to be fouled. Oh, they called on it. Wow. Called on the floor? No, they called the ball. They didn't even call a foul, Dale. <laughs> Wowzer. 9.4 seconds left. It may have been clear from the floor. It's hard to see from up here. But Mara Pounds going in from the left-hand side. Could have been blocked, I guess. Yep. Jader Lott checks in, Grace Peters checks in. They get it in to Peters, shot up and can't get it. It's gonna be off of Hoisington, Minneapolis basketball. 5.4 seconds left. Weedled inbounds, no, excuse me, shoot the inbounds. On the floor is Lott, Weedle, Allison, that's Shea Allison, and Grace Peters. Shoot, three point shot, and it's good. Nice job by Lindsay Shoot as she hits the three, and we finally go back up. We were up three to nothing early, and that's been it. First lead since then. 24 to 23. Nice job by the Lady Lions. Shoot with two big threes right there. That's her first, uh, second bucket of the day. Uh, six points right there. Nice job by the Minneapolis Lady Lions as they regain the lead 24 to 23. We'll be back after this word. You're listening to SalinaPost.com as well as Equal Communication Channel 20. At Lambert Insurance, Kent Lambert can make shopping for insurance easy. With insurance plans changing all the time and costs increasing constantly, getting coverage you need at affordable rates can be a challenge. Let Lambert Insurance in Minneapolis help. La Hacienda Mexican Restaurant on South Broadway across from the All-Star Lanes in Salina. Delicious recipes, generous portions, and daily specials made fresh daily. La Hacienda has something you'll love. La Hacienda proudly supports the Minneapolis Lions. Well, Scott, we got outscored in the first quarter 10 to 5, but came back in the second quarter outscoring them 7 to 5, and here in the third, 12 to 8, to take the one-point lead finally yeah. after three. Now the ladies got to continue to fight hard here. Up by one, ball goes in to shoot to start this fourth quarter. Minneapolis down by five. They get six unanswered points all by shoot. Nice pass down low to, to Giles up, and she uh. can't get it. Another missed bucket underneath, and that has been our bugaboos. We cannot get a bucket under the We've seen a lot paint. of those go in by Lucy this year. They're not going tonight. Career with the ball on the outside, and she's guarded by Pounds. Elizabeth back to the top to Schremmel, back to, uh, let's see, I'm sorry, Demel. Demel back to Greer. Greer on the outside. Oh, nice pass. Nice shot off the glass. No good. Rebounded by Giles. Back out to shoot. Luckily, they missed an open shot. Back the other direction. Into Giles. She'll take the shot, and it's good. Nice job, Lucy Giles. You can't get into the paint. Take it from the corner of the paint, and she hits it from the corner of the free throw. Three nice point shot. lead again, 26-23. Greer with the ball. She's picked up by, by Pounds, and then by Peters as they double team her. And they Locked. drive all the way in and picked up by shoot back the other direction. Take it easy, girls. Allison down low, and she'll get fouled. Nice job, Shea Allison. Great pass down to Shea. Shea fronts her, and she'll get fouled. Close Giles to the block right wide there. Wide open on the backside there, but uh, I don't think she'll be either see her one or get the ball to her, number two. She's got the Allison, and she's fouled. Third foul on Presley Smith. Shea Allison at the line to shoot two. Shot is up, and it's no, no good. good. 
Thought it might get the shooter's roll in. It rolled around a few times. She'll have another one. Second one's up, and it's no good. Misses them both. 26-23, Lady Lions up by three. Ball on the outside to Greer. She's picked up by Shoup. Greer back in the corner to Demel. Demel with the drop down pass. Up in the paint, no good, and then rebounded by, oh, calls it off of Minneapolis. It'll be white basketball. What's going on? Somebody's unplugged this somewhere. I don't think so, Dale. That's plugged in. I don't understand. There's no power here. There's no power off that. Is this, is this plugged in directly? It's plugged in over there. They have no power. Layup. Grace Makes Peters. it 28-23. Can you I, try I and switching it. it to the... I did. I did. I did. I don't know. I swear. All right, it's... Uh, Quarter or uh, timeout, Lady Lions leading 28 23, 547 remaining in the game. Forgive us, folks, as we're fighting through some uh, power issues here. We'll be back in a minute. Tonight's game brought to you by 28 23, still five point lead for the Lions. 456 left to go. And, folks, we apologize for the difficulties here, but we'll keep it here as we get going. I bet the breaker is thrown for that outlet there. And off of Minneapolis, it'll be poisoned from basketball. Nice job by Grace Peters. So, just this is one reason I bought battery backup. <laughs> I wonder if there's a fuse in that. All goes to Hoisington to set it up as they drive. Gets it back to Greer. Greer guarded by Grace Peters on the outside. Grace drives. Excuse me. Uh, Greer drives. Picks up a dribble. Gets the pass down. And Mara Pound's going to be whistled with the foul. And now they're going to go to the line for a one-on-one. -on -one. So. 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 At the line is Kester, and she makes the first one. Kester makes the first one. She'll have another one coming here. Second one is up, and she makes them both. Nice looking free throws by Kester, makes them both. Three point ball game. 4.36 left to go. Shoot with the ball on the outside. 28 25, leading lines with the ball and the lead. Ball goes to the wing to shoot. Shoot. It's a down, back to Pounds, back to Peters, back to Pounds. They get it into to Giles. They go cross court to Pounds off the glass, no good, and another missed shot from down low. Comes back the other direction. 28-25, 4.05 to go in the fourth quarter. Nice look by Pounds, just couldn't get to fall. Great backdoor pass, up and no good, and there's going to be a foul Pounds over the back. back. Let's see if we can't unplug this okay, and move this across and see if we can pick up an outlet over here on their stuff. I'll go ahead and talk as we... She makes both of them here. We get it to within. We get it to within one here, 28 to 27. 
Ball comes back the other direction to Allison. Allison is going to be whistled with the foul, and she'll go to the line. So, if we can, Dale, you're going to lose it. So, can't. So, so, so see if we get some power here. Shot is up and off the mark on the one on one missed by Minneapolis. And it comes back the other direction. 28 27, Hoisington with the ball. Trails by one, Minneapolis up as they will come back the other direction. They go back in the hands of yep. we'll power. Um, and Grace Peters is going to be whistled with the foul. So, so we lost we lost power over there on that outlet. Thank you. Thank you. Let's uh, pull that mat, Scott. Thank you. Missed the free throw. Giles with the rebound. The Lions still lead 28-27 with 3.28 to go in the fourth quarter. Ball goes back to Allison at the top. 28-21, she said, down low and a turnover right there as we try to force it. And Greer comes back the other direction. That should be over the back. It's no call. It'll be uh, Hoisington basketball as both Greer and uh, Kester were going after the basketball. So. Hoisington bounds the basketball here. And they get it down low to Kester. Kester's walk. Thank you very much. Oh, you're kidding me. I say, I don't see oh. a walk coming on. I see a foul. Wow. Who they call it on? Wow. Shoot whistled with the third foul. She walked. Chance to tie it or go ahead here for the Cardinals. Said she was held. 28-27. Shot is up and no good. Said now she was helped tie. on that. Second one is up and it is no good. Rebound by Giles. Giles back out to shoot. Timeout Minneapolis with the one point lead they're nursing here with 3.06 remaining in the fourth. It's 28-27, and we got the ball. Now that we have our anxieties over, we'll get back to broadcasting again. <laughs> Welcome back to Hoisington, Kansas. A good ball game, to, uh, tight ball game here. 28-27, Lady Lions with a one-point lead. 3.06 left to go here in the ball game. We went up by five when we started having our power issues, and the Cardinals have crawled back into it, the trail by one, but we have the ball now. Minneapolis inbounds, gets it to shoot to set this one up. Both teams uh, in the bonus, Minneapolis in the one-on-one, -on -one, Hoisington in the double bonus, back out to shoot, shoot, high screen set by Giles, down low to Owens, up and good, nice job by J.O. as she gets the bucket down low, finally we get something in the low block, Dale. Man, it's been a long time coming to get one in the paint. Yes, and she's fouled. And she's fouled and she makes it, nice and job. Our, our, uh, and that's five fouls on Smith as she fouls out. For Horsington. JC, one of our better free throw shooters at 73.5%. Representing the Lions in the free throw shooting contest. We're up 30 to 27. Chance to make it four. Grace Peters checks in for Kennedy Allison. J.O. at the line. Shot is up and it's good. She makes it. Nice job. 
as she's tied with the girl for the from the cross for the uh, free throw shooting. Well, they contest. were coming in the today. I haven't they heard still the results are. Jay today. told me they still okay. are. Both the 27 for 30. Ball goes back on the outside, and there's a walk. Nice job by Minneapolis as they put a little pressure on her and checking back in as offense for defense as Kennedy Allison checks back in. 2.41 left here in the ball game. Lady Lions up by four. Kennedy to inbounds. They get it to Owens. Back to Pounds. Set and bring this one down. Mara brings it down. She crosses the timeline. Pulls it back out. She pulls it back out. Gets it back to shoot. Run clock. Yep. Shoot back out to Allison. Allison, the high screen, back to Pounds. Pounds back to. Oh. And it's blocked. Try to pass it over the, the defense. They block it. Fortunately, yeah. they miss. We don't get the rebound. Yeah. And there's a drive in the paint, and they're going to call a foul on Minneapolis. A minute 54 left, 31 27. Hoisington had a good look down low. Fourth foul on Peters. Two shots here. Let's see if they can draw within two. Kind of box out, ladies. First one is, well, you don't have to box out on something like that, do you, Dale? Well, <laughs> now they need to box Now out. they need to box out. Yeah, it's two shot. Second one coming here. And she makes them both. So 31-29, they get it in. The Shoop, Shoop will bring it down for the Lady Lions. A minute 48 left to go in the ball game. Shoop on the outside, gets it back to Pounds. Pounds. Pulls it back down, pulls it back out. It's it back to Shoup here. Worked a little clock here. And there's a foul right there. And Shoup will, oh. Time out. Time out, time Minneapolis. Out. Okay. So they call a timeout to talk about this. Minute 35 left to go in the ball game. 31 to 29. Tight one here in Hoisington. As Lady Lions up by two. They've trailed most of the game. Have had the lead here in the fourth quarter. Trying to keep it, though. We'll be right back after this word from our sponsors. Choose your beautiful new countertop, granite or quartz, from the large selection of slabs of granite and quartz in stock in the Creative Surfaces showroom. Your new countertop is cut from the actual slab of granite and quartz you select. Creative Surfaces is a proud supporter of Minneapolis Lions. See the guys at AutoTech for all your automotive repair needs. Quality automotive care from alignments to transmissions and everything in between. Proud supporters of the Minneapolis Lions. Welcome back to Poisonton, Kansas. Lady Lions to inbounds. They get it to Owens. Gets it back to Pounds. Minute 32 left to go as Mara pulls it back out. She dribbles in. Pulls it back out. Back to shoot. Shoot. Wow. We call a tie up. Possession arrow to the. That's uh, two very not smart decisions by our point guard in a row there. Well, uh, yeah. The ball. Yeah, but. Um, we Peters in for mm -hmm. Kennedy Allison. Wow. The trail by two here and on the attack. Come. Greer with the ball and back on the outside. The Gets to Kester. Kester back to Greer. And don't leave her open. She gets it down low. Shot up off the glass. No good. And gets the rebound and the lock. Locked by, by Owens. Minneapolis back to shoot. Shoot back the other direction. <coughs> shoot. She is being ridden all the way down. No call. Back on the outside. Back to Owens. Owens back. There we go, thank you. Finally, somebody fouls. Now there was a foul about at the 58 second mark. So that's all right, another uh, 11 seconds went off. And we Owens, get our best free throw shooter to the line. Owens will be at the line to shoot one on one. a one on one here. <clears throat> Need them both, JC.
JC at the line here. Shot is up and it's good. Nice job by JC Owens. J.O. with a big shot right there, 32 to 29, 47 seconds left. Trying to go up here by four. Second shot is up and it is good. Makes them both. Nice job, J.O. as she hits two big free throws right there. Kennedy Allison checks back in for Grace Peters. 33-29, 47.2 seconds remaining in the fourth quarter. Got to watch Greer here, get a hand on her so that she doesn't hit the big three. Get out there on her, get out there on her. She drives in, off the glass, no good, and rebounded by Owens. Nice job by J.C. Owens with a big rebound, and she'll go back to the line. J.C. Owens with a big, free th uh, big rebound right there. 34 seconds left, 33 to 29. Leading line's up by four. <clears throat> First foul on Demel at the line will be Owens to shoot two as the, we are in the double bonus now. First shot is up and it's no good. Owens here with the chance to put us up by five with 34 seconds left. Second one coming here. Shot is up and it's good. Makes one of two there. Three big free throws by J.C. Owens. Grace Peters checks back in. Offense for defense. 34.2 ticks left. It's 34-29 Minneapolis. As they will pick up Greer back to Schremer. Schremer back to Kester. Kester goes in the corner. And a deep three. Wow. Wow. My goodness, Dale, that was a big three right there. 34 to 32, a big three-pointer. She is a great ball player. Jordan Greer with a huge three from the corner and had Grace Peters in her face. 19.8 ticks left. Tight one here. Minneapolis with the two-point lead. We got to get the ball inbounds. We got to get it to our free throw shooter as well because they're going to foul. So we'll take a break. You're listening to SlinerPost.com as well as Eagle Communication Channel 20. We'll be back after this word. Visit Straub International today. Your Case IH, Great Plains, Mahindra, and Polaris dealer with seven locations. Straub International, helping Kansas grow. For over 100 years, Robertson Monuments has created everlasting memories for families to share the lives of their loved ones with future generations. Supporting the Lions all the way, Robertson Monuments. See you. Welcome back to <clears throat> Hoisington, Kansas. Cardinal Winter Jam semifinal game. The winner go to the championship. 19.8 seconds left. 34 to 32. Lady Lions up by two. We've got the ball to inbounds. Both on the Chris floor. is on. And we get the inbounds to Owens. And Owens is immediately fouled by Carissa Schremer. So Owens will walk the other end of the court to try to put this one up by four as Schremer picks up her third foul. Owens at the line to shoot two. JC's first shot is up and it is good. Nice job J.O. as she hits a big one right there. Up by three now. 35 to 32. Another one coming here. Shot is up, and it is good. Makes them both. Nice job, J.O. as she hits a big one right Two there. Two possession game now. Peters in for Peters sure. checks in. Got to get a, got to get her on her. Got to get on her here as she comes down. 16 seconds left. You can't foul her on the three-point shot either. Takes the three-point shot off the mark. And, oh, they save it. Good hustle. She picks it up. Puts it up, no good. And Owens we'll over the foul. back. So that's okay. Three ticks left, and they will go to the line to shoot two, but three seconds left, 36 to 32. Owens with her third personal foul. Good hustle there by Hoisington to uh, keep that ball in play. 36, 32, three seconds left, and, and then the first free throw. Shoot checks in for Peters. Peters. 
One more coming here. Three seconds left, 36 to 32. Shot is up, and it's good. She makes that one. Ball gets it in to Mara Pounds. Mara dribbles right around it. Nice job, Mara Pounds. Minneapolis is going to come away with the victory, and they advance to the championship 36 to 33. Lady Lions do what they need to do. Wow, Dale. That's a close one right there as Minneapolis comes away with the victory here at the Cardinal Winter Jam to advance to the championship as they will take on Ellenwood, the number one seed here tomorrow night. Both the boys and the girls advance. So, folks, plan your trip out here to Hoisington tomorrow and come out and cheer on your Lady Lions and your Lions. Minneapolis comes away with a victory tonight against a very scrappy, good ball team in the Hoisington Lady Cardinals. Uh, we'll get point totals later, but Greer with a big night for Hoisington. But nice job by J.O. We struggled in the post, but J.C. Owens hit some big free throws down the stretch. And boy, did we ever need them. Lady Lions come away as she went seven for eight down the stretch. Nice job, J.C. Owens. Nail biter. Wow. The Lady nice Lions job. will play Ellenwood, the number one seed, tomorrow at 6.30 p.m., followed by the boys playing the winner of Lacrosse Victoria at 8.15. We'll be back shortly. American Family Insurance agent. Welcome back to Hoisington, Kansas. Dale Leach, uh, Jay Macy, and myself, Scott Oshman, and thanks to Jay Macy for keeping the books. It is so difficult to do the play-by-play -play and to keep the books, and uh, Mike Perry not able to be with us tonight. And, and Dale, I hate to do this, but I'm not going to be with you tomorrow night. I understand. And, uh, I'll tell you, it's uh, hard to be two places at once, and I'm just not going to be able to be with you tomorrow night. You've just lost too much weight, Scott. You can't spread yourself out thin enough. <laughs> Thank you for noticing, but uh, uh, I'd like to say that that's the case, but it's not quite. So uh, I'll tell you, what a ball game tonight, Dale. Uh, Minneapolis clawed their way went right back into this because uh, uh, Hoisington had the lead 10-5 to at the end of the one. They were up 15 to 12 at the end of two. Minneapolis got back in and had the one point lead at the end of the third quarter. And then they end with a three point lead at the ball game. So nice job by the Lady Lions, but hats off to this Hoisington team. They're a scrappy team as uh, they come away. Uh, they Minneapolis comes away with the victory. Run through the scoring here. Um, uh, uh, Besa Walla, that was, I'm not pronouncing that right and I apologize, two points. Um, six points by Abby Demmel, uh, 12 points by Riley Kester, and 13 points by Jordan Greer. So, um, so uh, Kester, a sophomore, and Greer, a senior, uh, they uh, t totaled 25 of their 33 points. So for the Minneapolis Lady Lions, uh, Grace Peters with two points, five by Mara Pound, six by Lindsey Shoup, two big threes in the third quarter that really got us right back in. As a matter of fact, that gave us the lead. Uh, Kennedy Allison with eight, Lucy Giles with four, and leading the way, J.C. Owens with 11. But here's the big one right here, Dale. Seven for eight, free throw shooting for J.C. Owens mm -hmm. down the stretch. Crucial. And how crucial, big crucial. was that? How how nice was that? So, so it was a great ball game. So have a good night. Uh, scoring by quarters in that game. Again, we went down at, at the end of one, 10 to five, but from there on, it was the Lady Lions. It was close, it was but close. it was the Lady Lions, seven, seven to five in the second quarter, 12 to eight in the fourth, where we finally took the one point lead and we maintained a 12 to 10 lead in, in the, the fourth, fourth for yeah. the three point win, 36 to 33. So if you gotta win the quarters, it's better than win the last three. <laughs> as long as you didn't get down too much yeah, in the yeah. first. <laughs> yeah, and that's two games in a row. That's two games in a row we, that's happened to us. We were down, weren't we down the first game? Uh, five to three, yeah, five or to three. five to two, something like five that. Five to two, mm -hmm. yeah, five to two. So yeah. nice job by the Lady Lions tonight to come away with a victory. Uh, but, you know, um, I just and now we can talk a little about J.C. Owens. Uh, J.C., um, she is uh, 27 to 30 in the free throw shooting contest, tied with the gal from lacrosse. But um, I'll tell you, how big was her seven for eight free throw shooting down the stretch? Um, we ended up going seven for 10 from the free throw line, 70%, uh, only shot 10 free throws. Now, there was a lot of, lot of banging going on down there, um, no calls, but 
um, ends up that we do come away with a victory tonight uh, by a score of 36 to 33. Testament to her free throw shooting. Normally late in the game like this, throwing the ball inbounds, under pressure, full court press on by the opposing squad. You would assume we would get the ball to our point guard to handle yeah. the ball, but they knew they were, we knew they were going to foul us immediately, whoever we get the ball yeah. to. So who did we get it to? We got it to J.C. Owens, let her walk the other end and, and hit seven of eight, was it? Yeah, okay. seven and eight, Pretty seven and eight down the, uh, down the stretch. So very, very much needed and uh, yeah. appreciated. And, uh, you know, hats off to that, uh, to the to Jordan Greer, my gosh. She came down and hit a big three with mm. somebody in her face yep. uh, to bring this to within two points. And uh, I'll tell you, that was, uh, that was a big one right there. Luckily, the Lady Lions come away with a victory here to advance to the championship game as they will take on the number one seed, Ellenwood Eagles, as the Ellenwood, uh, Ellenwood uh, advanced uh, beating the Russell. And, you know, Russell's not a bad ball No, team. they aren't. They, they so. beat them, I think, a score of 45-39. Uh, they were down to Russell at the end of one scrapped back in it and uh, main, got the lead and maintained it. They are a good squad. We will have to play with much more confidence tomorrow than we played these last two games. Hopefully Kate Steinbrock will be uh, back. Uh, she's here tonight. She's I, here. She just didn't play, yeah. and I'm hoping that, that she, she will was, be recuperated the best of our yeah, help She out. apparently was sick mm -hmm. after the game on Tuesday and was missed school all day Wednesday, all day Thursday, was mm -hmm. back in school today, but had no energy at all. Yeah, yeah. So, so I don't know if she'll be able to have enough energy to play tomorrow or not, But uh, and if she's not up to, up to speed, with, she probably wouldn't be all that much of a help anyway. But uh, we will need everything we can to go against these uh, – <coughs> Lady Eagles of Ellenwood, they're a good squad, a scrappy squad, and uh, they they handed a decisive six-point win to uh, over the Russell Broncos. Uh, top competition of ours yeah. in the league. Yeah, uh, Russell is no slouch. We've not met yet Russell yet, but they are they are a, a force in our league. They're a good ball team in our league, so you know that uh, Ellenwood has got to be a very solid team. And it'll be a good crowd tomorrow. Ellenwood not too far from here. Nope. So you know that Ellenwood will bring a crowd tonight. That's uh, tomorrow night. Now, um, now the game next, of course, we will not broadcast, but uh, Victoria and Lacrosse, and I'm hoping this is just a battle that they wear each other out. We had plenty of time to rest our boys in uh, the boys' game. But uh, Ellenwood, excuse me, Victoria and Lacrosse um, to do battle here. Uh, for their next ball game. So Minneapolis comes up with a victory tonight. I think Coach is getting ready to work his way across the court here. <laughs> we'll have two teams in the championship. Uh, the girls will play Ellenwood again at 6.30, and the Minneapolis boys will play at 8.15 the winner of lacrosse Victoria game, the last semifinal game here of the night. Lacrosse is number one seed. Victoria is the fourth seed. Um, be two good games. Hopefully, get uh, two wins out of the squads to win the championships here. Is this one on? It will be in a minute. <laughs> Coach Weatherman joins us up here. Coach, uh, congratulations on a victory. Uh, you know, I'll, I'll tell you. Um, uh, hats off. Let's just let's just uh, talk about the obvious really quick. J.C. Owens, seven for eight from the free throw line down the stretch. Wow, how big was that? How much did we need that uh, to put this one away? Those are huge, you know, huge free throws she made down. You know, um, of course she's shooting 73 percent on the year. You know, we we kind of set her up a few of those times to get the ball to her because that's who we want to get the ball to. But um, she does, a, she does a nice job. She, you know, gets up there, relaxes, and, you know, she, she's just a great shooter. Well, we, um, you came up here, and, you, uh, and I, I kind of I agree with you. We kind of, we really struggled in the paint uh, early on. We missed a lot of, uh, their zone, let's just back up, their zone was very difficult for us tonight. Yeah, um, yeah I was really pleased. I told the girls at halftime, I was really pleased with our execution as far as running our offense and, and we, I felt like we were getting the shots we wanted. You know, you, you get the ball within three or four feet. Um, you know, that's a high percentage shot. And we were getting our, those shots, and we just couldn't get them to fall tonight. Um, I told them after the game, you know, hopefully we wasted the, you know, 
those shots are behind us and, and we're ready to get, you know, get those out of our system for tomorrow night. Uh, going in, uh, we won the quarters. Uh, we lost the first quarter, and then we outscored them in the second quarter, outscored them in the third quarter, outscored them in the, in the fourth quarter. But in the third quarter, uh, we really needed two, uh, two outside threes uh, by Lindsey Shoup. It's the only points of the night, but that were two big threes that she hit to put us with the one-point lead going in the fourth quarter. And I felt like that really kind of gave our girls a little bit of a spark going in the fourth quarter. At one time in the fourth quarter, we were up by five. Yeah, you know, the, the second three in particular was a, uh, an inbounds play that kind of had broke down. And I was, you know, sometimes when, when that kind of thing happens and a, and a play breaks down, kids tend to panic a little bit. And she didn't. And, you know, she stayed calm and she was aware of the time on the clock and um, set her feet and got a good shot off. Yeah. You know, I felt like the, uh, the girls really uh, battled hard and, and worked hard. Uh, they didn't give up. Uh, and so many times you see... Uh, a team just uh, fold under pressure, and they didn't tonight. Uh, you know, hats off to the to the ladies and, and to you coaches. You know, and and th that was a difficult team to prepare for. Uh, you know, they, everything they did was through you know basically through two players. You know, where you you knew that they were going to try to set those two kids up, and 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 you, you, kids are accustomed to just playing straight up defense. And and if you're off the ball, you're you're, you're trying to guard your man and. To, to have to be aware of that they're going to just try to get the ball to those two people. It, it's hard to get yourself broke from, um, you know, playing just regular man-to-man -man defense. But we did a good job. We had a few breakdowns um, where we would go under a screen once in a while when we shouldn't have or we fought, went over the screen and they went back door one time on us or cut, made a, a curl cut to the basket. But overall, we did a really nice job. Uh, you know, the, the Greer girl has been averaging about 20. She gets 13 tonight. And we made her work for those 13. Yeah. And then the Kester girl is, it, it, those two have been taking 30, about 35 out of 40 shots for them in a, in a night. And she gets most of her points from the free throw line. We really held her in check from the field. So um, that, that was just a nice job defensively by us. And, and, and our defense basically just kept us in the game. And we just kept plugging away, kept plugging away, kept plugging away. So, um, you know, hopefully, hopefully um, the offensive, you know, um, stagnant offense maybe they'll hopefully they'll be get behind us and we'll just play loose tomorrow night we're in the championship game hey. nothing to lose just yeah. come down here and just let it you know wing it and go and we talked uh, we talked to um, coach uh, uh, coach Shoup about this we talked a little bit about it with you on Tuesday how important it is to get your playing time in this gym uh, because this is where we hope to be back for substate yeah and our substate that's the, that you know that's a team right there that's going to be in our substate mm -hmm. And I think our substates about as difficult from top to bottom as any in the state. You know, there's some teams that are, there's some substates that are top heavy. You really look at our substate, one through eight is going to be, have a chance to go in that substate and have a chance, you know, play their way through to the state tournament. But um, it, it, this does, it, this is great experience for us to come down here, play on, a, uh, the, we're going to be playing substate out. We're playing for a championship. Oh, yeah. You know, hopefully it's not the first championship we're playing for on, on this um, floor this, you know, this season, but, um, it's a start, you yeah. know. It gives us that atmosphere and gives us an opportunity to, to try to replicate that. So when we hopefully do get a chance later in the year, we, you know, we know what that feels like. Yeah, absolutely. Well, What's your scouting report? Having watched uh, the Ellenwood Lady Eagles, they look strong inside to me tonight. And I quite honestly can't remember what they did from the outside. <laughs> well, they, you know, they're 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 big and they're physical. Uh -huh. um, their point guard is big and physical, and and she can shoot. You know, they're they're, they're kind of similar. They're, they're going to really try to get the ball inside. To their two big post players, and then make sure you know set a lot of on-ball screens for the point guard and let her make play. So you know they're they're a little bit more than a two-man team. I wouldn't just call them a three-man team because other kids shot the ball tonight. But if we can shut their three main players down, which is going to be difficult because their their two post players are are, are physical. And um, you know I told the girls I said you better get ready for a track meet tomorrow because we want to run them up and down the court. Yeah. yeah. Well, nice job tonight. Congratulations. Hey, we're in the championship, and you can't get any better than that. Folks, we hope you come out and support us. Both teams in the championship, first time since 2011. And matter of fact, that night, both teams came away with the championship. So uh, best of luck to you, Coach, and we appreciate you coming up and sharing with us. And uh, uh, good luck tomorrow night. Okay, thank you, guys. Thanks, Coach. Thank you. Good luck. So mm -hmm. Minneapolis Lady Lions advance to the championship tomorrow night against the uh, uh, Ellenwood Eagles as Minneapolis and Ellenwood uh, in the championship tomorrow night. Minneapolis 
and either lacrosse or Victoria on the boys' side. Uh, that will yet to be determined. Girls at 6.30, the boys at 8.15 if everything's on time. So, uh, Folks, I won't be with you. Dale will be here tomorrow night, and I think Jay Macy's going to keep stats for you. Mm -hmm. So uh, uh, I apologize. But, uh, a lonesome stranger tomorrow. Family, family <laughs> is first tomorrow. So That's right. So. Congratulations. And good to luck both. to your boys as they play tomorrow night. Just Jonah. Just, just Jonah. Jonah. Yeah. So, so. All right. Well, for myself, Scott Oshman, Dale Leach, and Jay Macy, good night, folks. And thanks as always for having us in your home. Come out and support.